as much. Yep. You're still going to get whiff punished, of course, but having your partner there to cover you just for a couple extra frames, you know? Yep. It's nice, uh, especially on shield. Like, DDD's forward tilt on shield is already relatively decent, unless you have a great forward-facing aerial or you're uh, mm -hmm. turned around and you have a good back-facing aerial. You really won't punish him that consistently. Oh, and he's choosing to so. opt for the Roy and the Ryu. I think that's interesting Roy because Ryu. both of these characters have phenomenal horizontal pressure. Yep, absolutely. And what map are we going to? I we think that might be what influenced the pick. PS2. Okay. I don't think they picked the music. Ugh, very disappointing. Yeah, they just had old jams on from another map. Uh, well, anyhow, uh, Double Yoshi is, of course, especially menacing in doubles because they can just get all of these ladders off of one another. They're able to pick up with the last one left off. Just the, Oh, and is, that's not the SD. Wow, I forgot how much vertical distance uh, Shoryu recovers. Oh, yeah. Shoryu recovery is very nice if you have your double jump. But if you don't, there's a lot of pressure there. And, uh, Raptors partner, Suarez. Sorry to mention that before. I didn't know they were teaming mm -hmm. today. <laughs> because they didn't team yesterday together, I believe. Yeah. So that's that's why I didn't want to assume. Um, we're seeing a lot of great recoveries coming from Weezer right well, now. Fantastic patience from AFW on ledge, making sure he's not getting hit by any of the eggs. Suarez isn't coming back to stage for free, even paling the last one, almost getting the punish, throwing Yoshi back to stage. AFW a little slow on the punish, but it doesn't matter. But they're going to give up center stage to Raptor, and he's going to push that as hard as he can. Helping Suarez get off the ledge. Finally gone. Ooh, and the egg interrupting the final hit of Shoryu. Good conversion from AFW. Nice bread and butters. Especially um, can't be missing those in those. I'm really surprised that um, I believe it was Raptor who wasn't able to get the punish out of shield on uh, on AFW despite him using a side beyond a shield like that. I saw him go for a full hop neutral air, which I think might have been a misinput. but Yeah, just a little hesitance for sure. Because Yoshi is definitely no stranger to phenomenal out of shield options. Mm, we're seeing good stock tanking coming out, but AFW is going to lose his stock to the Yoshi up snap. I love that armor. The f coming from uh, coming from Weezer, able yep. to just ignore Yoshi's forward, air, which is just such a menace for characters with really bad recoveries. Yeah. Or, or not Low even bad ones, just linear one. ones. Yep. All right, we're seeing Weezer stock tank very hard. Yeah, I mean, if Weezer can hold on to the stock, like he can get kill confirmed so, so easily. Because yep. Roy and Ken, I think, are maybe some of the most potent rage monsters in the game. Absolutely. And their passes to each other are pretty nice because Ryu's swings have a lot of hit lag. So it takes a pretty decent amount yep. of time for them to actually start moving. Uh, it's pretty nice if you can put yourself in the right place. And Roy's air drift definitely lets him do that. His, air, uh, his grounded speed, pretty good, too. Uh, and you see AFW going for a read with the counter, but Raptor and Suarez, you know, b both staying awake. You know, they, they're not falling for it. Yeah, they've been playing neutral a lot smarter this stock. Um, both of them just making sure they don't overextend on Ryu, which is one of the most important things because he's getting down tilts out of shield, and that just means you're not being safe enough and on block. And Raptor That's goes into that fully charged F smash. AFW is just waiting for somebody to press a button. Suarez is going to make up for it, though, with a nice edge guard. I was... I don't even know how to feel about what I just saw. <laughs> I, Same. I feel you on that one, bro, for sure. It's possible that he might have buffered it before because he might have landed with an aerial and buffered a goal. That's really, really possible. Mm -hmm. um, and something uh, Raptor and Suarez are doing here is they're taking advantage of Yoshi being able to hang out mm -hmm. off-map and sandwiching with one Yoshi off the stage, something that's very, very nerve-wracking to do with because you're looking for the ledge trap and you just don't get it. And now you see AFW and Weasley not having too much of a lead, but a pretty good one that's growing with them just landing all this damage on Yoshi. And you see AFW trying to get the F smash lead by using a hitbox extension, using the egg. But uh, Raptor obviously not jumping into that F smash again like he did the other stock. Um, well, great forward. Air. I love that commitment. I don't even know if that was a sweet spot. Yeah, Raptor getting done up a little bit that game. Suarez trying to play the 2v1 here. Gonna find some nice hits, but he's losing damage. Yep. And versus a team like Re Roy, you really don't want to be giving those hits up. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. They're covering each other super oh well. Oh my gosh! I AFW, just very overcommittal. Takes a stock immediately too. I like it, but they have to make the most of it right now. They can't be getting comboed like and this. This is a really scary position right now because if if Swallows is able to take the stock off of Weezer, I think Yoshi does. Super well against Goy and one off stage against Goy, and that might be it. But right now, if AFW can just clutch out the stock, this will be a very nice game one lead. <gasps> Ooh, Suarez All right, good ready. Good timing on the jab there from Suarez too. 
And here comes the tech chase from Jab, which works just about every single percent. It's a menace. Yeah. And I think this is artificial at most times, but I think right now the pressure of it being Suarez is getting to AFW a little bit. And that bit, side but is not enough to take it. That was not the sweet spot because that would have... Well, rather, I think it has a lot more set knockback at ledge. Yeah. And you can just see AFW's a little bit nervous. He's shaking up. He doesn't want to be committing so hard right now. Continue. He's at 65%. But the nail attack cancel back here is not enough to take it quite yet. I like the DIN on the jab. Just making sure he doesn't die to the confirm. And that's going to be the lead grab. And that's going to be ledge. the stop. That's going to be it. That's it. Yes, that's it. Such a great down good tilt. Stuff. So safe. Yeah. So non-committal. Just like basically poking him off. Um, I think Suarez might have had a... Phenomenal fighting chance if he didn't drop down and go for an ugly grab. Yeah, for sure. I'm not sure why he decided to dip under the stage yeah. there. But AFW definitely started to clean it up a lot towards the end. Um, yep. There are definitely points in the stock, like I said, it, it felt like he was almost nervous that he was fighting Suarez. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end, and I think especially when he caught the side B, the first one that didn't kill, he was like, all right, I'm playing neutral yeah. okay. Like, I can do this. I can play this out. Like, it's not a losing match. We're good. And, uh, I like that resilience coming out from him. And I yeah. think if Weezer and AFW get to win here, it's going to be quite the upset, yeah. I think, as well. This is uh, a pretty big Suarez, one. Suarez, of course. Suarez, number... uh, I'm not sure exactly where on the PGR. Number definitely in the, on the 40s. PGR. Definitely in the 40s. Um, and Raptor, I mean, is definitely pretty close with Suarez in terms of like skill level. Easily the second best, if not like really just so close you can't even say uh, yeah. for best Yoshi. Yeah. Um, and these two also just dominating doubles. That was such a beautiful conversion from Suarez with the Look rising down there. 94% abusing Roy's mediocre landing options. They're laddering with each other now. They realize that both of these characters have pretty poor landings and just dealing with it super well. Seeing a lot more egg pressure with the follow-up from the other mm -hmm. person. And both of them taking to the skies a little bit more. Very nice turnaround there off the platform from AFW. And AFW and um, Weezer are able to get like the double edge guard situation happening. AFW dropping in and Weezer as well. So really great and Raptor and Suarez as part of coming back to stage, especially yeah. against such, like, such a potent uh, edge guard like Roy. Mm -hmm. I want to see Weezer pressure for the 2v1 on stage a little bit more. He tunnel visioned on an edge guard and AFW ended up dying for it because he failed the edge guard and Suarez came back and yep. punished the side B. Um, and you just see, like, once again, like, Weezer is, like, definitely the stock tank, uh, the, the stock tank here, as I say, as just as he loses his stock, but he's living to really, really high percents. He's really holding on to that stock um, and just, like, getting these confirms when he needs to. So Great I think parry. Weezer has been pulling his own, like, phenomenally well with mm -hmm. this choice of Ryu for this. Yeah, absolutely seeming like the right move here. Making a lot of use with backer, just making yep. sure the Yoshis don't get to engage for free. Um, and just... Holding that standing pressure, the frame two aerial is really tilting the Yoshis a little bit. <gasps> oh, that's going to be, gonna a, be able shield to punish a shield break. And oh, they got the no. punish. You amazing, never want to jump to. Amazing job from Raptor and Suarez. Now they have a very convincing lead, both of them only in the 60%. And how is Weezer already at 51%? I swear to God, I blinked. Got caught in the corner. Just a little bit too much. Hit by his own partner as well. Pretty unfortunate. And you see Weezer uh, dropping that shield a little bit too early on Yoshis down here. I mean, that move is just like Palutena's net. Red team making the most of the lead, but uh, Raptor doing what he did game one. And Jumping into are... AFW's F smashes yeah. a little bit. He's kind of moving into there. Got to watch out. That's a no-fly zone, bro. Ooh, that was almost a stock on Weezy, but an exception. That guy. was beautiful from AFW. Pressuring Carlos with uh, the, you know, the juggle so and then good. immediately looking for the punish on Suarez's normal getup. Gets that side B, but he's going to start getting punished here by the juggle. Finds his way to the ground. So he's trying to get something started right now, AFW, with the falling up airs because that can confirm into just so many different options for going. I mean, that down B, not enough to take <sighs> it, but the back air coming from Suarez, phenomenal. Yeah. Able to take out the stock and that... Ah, oh, that's ugly. That's so oh, oh my god, Yoshi's double jump is gross, bro. He moved so far that they didn't hit they each just, other. That was so they, nice. They didn't even care about his armor. They just like kept, yep. you know, they kept like slapping they and going That's in on it. That's a beautiful way to punish focus. You know, insane. move always lose to two hits. So if you can squeeze so two good. hits in there during the lag of one, you're absolutely solid.
Uh, well, anyhow, going into game three, you know, I do feel a certain type of way about these F smashes and like these side Bs coming from AFW, mm. but they have taken out some stocks from Raptor. Yeah. So I don't know, game three, maybe Raptor is going to adapt a little bit. So you're going to see AFW play a little bit more reserved, mm -hmm. but like, just right there, honestly? he goes for that F smash. Ooh. Yeah. He shifts tempo a lot. He'll like start advancing super hard and then randomly just pace back, look for that forward smash. And that he's doing it in weird from, places. From AFW was phenomenal. He just strong grab through along through 52%, chasing his double jump and his DI in towards the stage. That was a beautiful play. When yeah. AFW gets something started, he makes sure to get the most out of it. Mm -hmm. And you so can see he's trying to play the mental game. He's actively looking for a lot of forward smashes yep. on Raptor. He wants him tilted. He realizes he can keep him out of the game like that. And AFW mixing out his out of shield options as Raptor and Suarez land on top of it, rolling back, rolling forward, and sometimes jumping aggressively. Yeah. And that's how he's like that unpredictability is definitely just like how he's able to get a whole lot of things started. I love the way Weezer just helped AFW get back to stage with that F smash. Yep. That was so even though like, it might be considered an aggressive with committal option, it was just like... It's a great move to whiff bait. Honestly, the FAF is not nearly as bad as it Don't even consider contesting this. Yeah. You're going to... You, you will explode. Yeah, exactly. Nice footstool to punish the double jump armor. I don't know if it was entirely intentional because of the mispunish. I love the way that Swallows is coming back to stage with the eggs, you know, like covering any potential like edge guards uh, from AFW. And that is going to be the stock from AFW dropping into the blast zone. And this is... Yoshi is a character with so much sustain yep. that I feel like this is going to be a very difficult comeback to make if they do indeed, um, you know, make it. That's a big thing. I think Raptor and Suarez were playing for the kill um, a lot more mm -hmm. and just kind of hounding when they could. But yeah. this game, it seems like they're trying a lot harder just not to die. They take their hits in pretty important so, places, but they make them, sure they're not this game, they're just like so straight. patient off stage, especially. Yep. I mean, finally taking off Raptor's first stock yeah, as like well as Suarez's. But yeah. Uh, Weezer and AFW down to one stock apiece. Yep. And we're seeing um, just a lot of landing pressure coming out from AFW, but he's not doing too much mm -hmm. when Weezer is knocking people back at him. And that's serving to be a problem. They've been hitting each other a lot this game as well. And like once again, you see AFW committing to these up smashes at really low percents, and then he just sinks off into the blast zone. This is a 4 to 1 stock lead. Uh, yeah, there isn't really too much to say about this. Um, right now, like Swallows and Raptor, they can play patient. They can go in on him. They can kind of do whatever they want. They're in just like such a comfortable position right now. I really like the attempt there from Weezer. Going to take the level three. I don't agree with the so dash in. so much on lag on it. Yeah, if he had dashed back, he would have been in a much safer place. Let Suarez take the hit and could have whiffed punish. You know, I really think... Weezer's use of down B has kind of been the start of this entire set for both teams. Mm -hmm. It just gotten him so, out of so many different situations and, in fact, extended the hitbox and hit his own teammate. But that's, of course, going to clean it up. Yeah, so uh, much shield pressure. Great turnaround since game one, mm -hmm. I believe. Raptor and 